Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this was an unexpected release. Apple released the iOS 16.1 Beta 1 to developers. Oh my god. I know you guys did not expect this update to come out now. I did not expect it to come out now. A lot of people did not expect it to come out today. The reason number one is because the iOS 16 just got dropped. It's just been a day. Oh my God. It's just been two days that iOS 16 has been out. And we already have the iOS 16.1 in history. If history was an indication, we would have gotten the 16.1 beta one next week, uh, the next Tuesday. And it is really rare when we get Wednesday update. So let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time. My name is Jay, aka Tech Hyped. You are watching Tech Hyped and uh, we are really close to 10,000 subscribers. I keep on making Apple related content for you guys and I know you guys love it. So here, just be sure to subscribe to this channel. We are so close to 10k. I want to get to 10k as soon as we can. Now that you have done that, let's get into today's video without wasting any more time. Alright, so iOS 16.1 has been out. This update is huge. It came at 5.16 GB. This update changed some things. Uh, by this time, I have not really found a lot of things that are changed, but there are some changes that I have found. I will be coming up with a lot of new videos uh, explaining what are the hidden features and all. But here are some quick things that I found in this update. This was 5 GB of update. And after installing this update, I got around, uh, I mean, it consumed 1.2 GB of my storage on my device. So that is a thing. And my device got really heated up. Of course, it is a big update. It is a 5 gigabyte of update. So your device will get heated up. The first change that I noticed is the animation animations when you scroll uh, the lock screen UI is a bit tweaked. These are a bit smoother and uh, I'm so sorry because it is a bit too late at my place. I will be coming up with better videos for you guys. So just bear with me right now. I'm just doing a voiceover. So just bear with me. All right. So there are some animation changes uh, on this update and there are then talking about the performance. The performance seems to be a bit better compared to the iOS 16 because uh, uh, earlier I was having some stutters and for some reason after I installed it on my device I do not actually have a lot of stutters on my device and it just feels a bit too snappy to me I don't know it can be just the iPhone 12 for me but uh, I am installing it on my other devices I will uh, make a review of my iPhone 11 10R and uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max so you know what to do turn on notifications right now then talking about the biggest bug that I faced was a respring. Exactly. It is it is pretty normal. Come on. A respring is very, very normal on iOS firmware. And when I installed it, it showed me those new hello screen and all, right? We, we know. We just know everything about it. What screens we all see. The all new splash screens. So I saw that. And after that, I just had a respring on my device. And I know that is a bit too weird. Craig. That isn't cool, right? There aren't many things that I have found by the time I'm recording this video because it is a bit too early right now for me to post this video. I was just rushing to just update you guys as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I will catch you guys in the very next episode. Peace.